Hello there, Steve McGoy here from Lynch Foods. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make an amazing taco salad featuring Lynch's gourmet chipotle sauce. This thing's amazing, tastes great, looks fantastic. I'm so excited, let's do it, come on. All right, here we go, kick-ass taco salad time. To begin this salad, we're gonna start with a beautiful plate of romaine lettuce. Kind of think of the lettuce as your shell. It's the carrier, we're gonna build everything on top of the, uh, the lettuce. So the first thing in, we're gonna put some nicely seasoned ground beef. We've cooked this off with some taco seasoning. And that goes on top of the lettuce. Following that, we're gonna add some black beans on top of that beef and lettuce. Uh, we'll put some cherry tomatoes that we've just halved. Start building a little bit of color on this salad. To that, we're gonna add some red onions. Just like you see there. And have a little avocado, just because avocado is delicious. It goes so well in taco salads, or tacos, like such. Then we're gonna add some sour cream, a little dollop there. We'll add some Pico de Gallo, or just a fancy name for salsa. Place that beside sour cream. And a taco wouldn't be a taco without some cheese. Add some nice mixed cheese there. And now we're gonna add a chipotle aioli that we've made utilizing our gourmet chipotle sauce. So that's gonna be drizzled over the top. See there, just beautiful. And just for the effect, we're gonna add some nacho chips in there. Just kind of tuck them in where you see fit. Look at that, just beautiful. And the last thing, we're just gonna add our couple cilantro leaves over the top. Just kind of space those out there and then a couple limes and there you have an absolutely beautiful taco salad again featuring lynch's gourmet chipotle sauce please enjoy so there you have it a taco salad to be proud of you know this gourmet chipotle sauce in my opinion has the perfect balance of sweet and heat it's very approachable it's not over the top hot but something you should be utilizing in your culinary applications. So give this recipe a try, it tastes amazing, and thank you so much for watching. Hello there, Steve McGoy here from Lynch Foods again. Today I'm gonna to be making a really cool steak frites dish utilizing Lynch's Gourmet Horseradish Sauce. This dish looks amazing and I guarantee you tastes fantastic. Let me show you how to do it. All right, here we go. Steak frites, absolutely delicious. Really just a fancy name for steak and fries. What I'm gonna showcase right now is a way to utilize Lynch's Creamy Horseradish Sauce as an ingredient in a beautiful compound butter. So what's a compound butter? It's simply a flavored butter. You could add all kinds of different things to butter to flavor it or enhance its already wonderful eating attributes. In this case, I'm gonna incorporate Lynch's creamy horseradish sauce into a butter. So all I've done is I've softened some salted butter. I've added the horseradish sauce inside as well as some thyme, some rosemary and a little salt and pepper and just blended it all together. So it's all incorporated beautifully into one um, luscious sauce. So this will go on top of the steak after it's been cooked. I'll show you what that looks like. So, I've already got my frites uh, on my plate. You could serve this on a board, you could serve this in a basket, but a plate is fairly traditional. I'm gonna take my steak, in this case I've used a beautiful New York strip loin, but you could use a sirloin, you could use a filet, whatever you like as your steak. And I'm gonna use, take my compound butter that I've made here, just form a little ball and place that over the top, just like that. 
And to finish off the plate for a little color, just a couple microgreens over here on the side. Okay? So a beautiful sort of traditional steak frites, gorgeous compound butter, again, utilizing Lynch's gourmet creamy horseradish sauce. Absolutely delicious. Please enjoy. So there you have it. A beautiful steak frites dish utilizing Lynch's creamy horseradish sauce. I guarantee you'll love it. Give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. Hello there, Steve McGoy here again from Lynch Foods. Today I'm going to be working with Lynch's Gourmet Maple Chili Sauce and incorporating that into a Bang Bang Sauce for Bang Bang Shrimp. You're probably like, what the heck's Bang Bang Sauce and what's Bang Bang Shrimp? Well, keep watching and I'll show you. Alright, here we go. Bang Bang Shrimp. What is Bang Bang? So Bang Bang just refers to the little pops of heat that you get when you eat this dish. Traditionally, they come from chili flakes or sriracha sauce as the heat vessel, but it's just those little pops of heat when you eat this, uh, this shrimp dish. In my version, I'm gonna be utilizing Lynch's Gourmet Maple Chili Sauce to provide those little pops of heat. So to make the Bang Bang Sauce, all I did is I utilized, as I mentioned, Lynch's Gourmet Maple Chili Sauce, a little mayonnaise, a little honey, and a little rice wine vinegar, just for a little bit of acidity. Mix that all together in a mixing bowl, and you've got yourself a gorgeous sauce. As for the shrimp, I simply took some 4150 shrimp, which simply refers to the amount of shrimp per pound. I dredged them in a little mixture of some buttermilk, some hot sauce, flour, and cornstarch, and a little salt and pepper. Deep fried those so they're nice and crispy like you see here. Let them drain and then pop them into a, into a basket or a plate, whatever you choose. To finish off the dish, I'm just gonna take my sauce that I just mentioned, drizzle it over the top, of the shrimp. I'm gonna sprinkle some chili flakes over the top. A few sesame seeds. And just finish it off with a couple lime wedges. Absolutely delicious. Bang Bang Shrimp utilizing Lynch's Gourmet Maple Chili Sauce. Please enjoy. So there you have it, my take on a Bang Bang Shrimp. A really fun, easy dish to do, great as an appetizer, great as a starter, great as a shared dish, great anytime. This thing tastes amazing, simple to do, and utilizing Lynch's Gourmet Maple Chili Sauce just takes it over the top. I guarantee you'll love it, give it a try. Thanks for watching. Hello there, Steve McGoy here from Lynch Foods. It's sandwich time. Today I'm gonna to make a really cool Monte Cristo sandwich featuring Lynch's gourmet crunchy mustard sauce. This sandwich is amazing. It features turkey and Gruyere cheese and that crunchy mustard sauce and a brioche bread and ah, enough talking. Let's make it. All right, here we go. Monte Cristo sandwich featuring Lynch's gourmet crunchy mustard sauce. To build this sandwich, it's fairly straightforward. We're gonna start off with two pieces of brioche bread. We're then gonna grab an aioli that we've made utilizing the gourmet crunchy mustard sauce. It's simply the mustard sauce, a little bit of mayonnaise, and some lemon juice. We're then gonna give a healthy dollop of that aioli onto each side of the bread. Smooth it out with a spoon. We really want that to be present at the end of the sandwich once it's made. From there, on one side, we're gonna add some Gruyere cheese. Kind of coat the bottom of the bread. Like you see there. On top of that, we're gonna place our turkey and be generous with the turkey. Again, this is a good sized sandwich, so nice amount of turkey the top of that Gruyere cheese. Now let's do one more slice just because. Beautiful. 
From there, I'm gonna add some arugula lettuce that I've just lightly seasoned with some olive oil and salt and pepper on top of the turkey. And then another layer of Gruyere cheese. Oops, get that one back on there in a moment. Starting to look fantastic. And then to top it off, that second piece of brioche bread over the top. Now from here, we're gonna take this sandwich and place it into a non-stick skillet with some melted butter and cook it almost like you would a grilled cheese sandwich. We want a nice brown on it, browning on each side and enough heat to get through the sandwich to melt the cheese and heat the turkey through. So that's what we're gonna do. And I've done that ahead of time. And this is what you end up with. A beautiful Monte Cristo sandwich. The bread is nicely golden brown. Cheese is melted and that crunchy mustard sauce that we've used in that aioli is gonna be nice and present, really flavorful, a wonderful, wonderful dish. And to finish this off, on the plate, again, we're just going to take some seasoned greens, just sort of place them behind the sandwich, like you see there, and a lemon. If it looks great, it'll help with that lettuce. So there you have it. Beautiful Monte Cristo sandwich featuring Lynch's Gourmet Crunchy Mustard Sauce. Please enjoy. So there you have it, a turkey and Gruyere cheese Monte Cristo sandwich featuring Lynch's gourmet crunchy mustard sauce. And I gotta tell you, once I turn this camera off, I'm eating that thing, delicious. The one thing I just wanna make sure comes across very clear with these gourmet sauces is that they're very balanced. You know, what you're expecting when you read the label, whether it be a crunchy mustard sauce or a chipotle sauce, is the flavor will deliver what you're expecting. It's very approachable, they're all very well balanced and so versatile in your culinary applications. So give these recipes a try. Definitely give this one a try. Have fun with them. And thank you so much for watching.